turn down. Something for your mind, your body, and your soul. Soul. Hello everybody, this is Dave Lee, back for the final third instalment of my residency. We've got lots of great material lined up for you. Some exclusives, some Chromeo, Reva Star, Louis Vega, plus some under the radar disco you might not have heard before. And yes, I've just returned from defected Croatia. I had an amazing time there. It's such a wonderful event really. So many friendly people. Great music, I enjoyed it both as a punter and as a DJ. And in the background, Jocelyn Brown, Offshore. The East Smooth mix of Got To Get Away, going back to 1991. Glitter Box.
glitter box, a disco high. Glitterbox Radio Show. So in the background, a brand new exclusive, something I just finished in the studio. That's my remix of Chromio featuring LaRue, Replacements. That's coming out in a couple of months. And prior to that, another exclusive for my forthcoming AC Soul Symphony album. That's I Wanna See You Dance. On the album, that's about 10 minutes long, but squeezed it into three minutes for this. Coming up now, something brand new from Reva Star. When I first heard this, I thought, oh, is that a new James Brown record? But it's not. It's still got that raw James Brown type energy, but it's Reva Star, how it feels. <laughs> Lots of you bring joy to my mind. Things of a passing left behind Just to see you fills my heart with your heart I feel like a baby with a brand new toy Show you how I feel Let me give you the best of me 
So check it out, something brand new. I played on both the boat and in my beach stage set in Croatia. That's my remix of Louis Vega, who's teamed up with the disco act Unlimited Touch. Music is my life. Anyone who's been on one of those boats in Croatia will know it's a really special experience. And Saturday afternoon, Moose here myself was no exception. It was a very, very good party. And then after that, so that's one of my favorite, favorite Frankie Knuckles remixes. Not one of the better known ones, but I love the chord progression on that. Melanie Williams, Everyday Thing. And Melanie was the lead singer in Sub Sub who had a massive crossover hit with Ain't No Love. It was a kind of quirky dance track. It sounded a little bit like Delight Groovers in the Heart. After that was such a hit, she signed her own deal. And yes, that's one of the singles and remixed by Frankie. So slowing things down a little bit. Dee Dee Bridgewater, Lonely Disco Dancer. Dee Dee Bridgewater's more of a jazz singer, really, and she's made some amazing material, got a wonderful voice, won Grammys. Like lots of artists, jazz, rock, soul, made a couple of albums towards the end of the 70s, a little bit more disco flavoured. Not sure I would even say that's disco, but it's got disco in the title, Lonely Disco Dancer, something I first heard on Robbie Vincent's lunchtime show on Saturdays, which was a massively influential radio show. Oh, 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 
Shotty, that absolute, did big gospel tracks like I Believe. This is Two Guys, I think it's in the Bristol area. And after a few soul acid jazz productions, ended up becoming big pop producers. I think they worked on the first Spice Girls album and Take That and such like. And I can still quite clearly remember the first time I heard that. I was on the dance floor at Legends in Old Burlington Street. The night was Trouble's house and the DJ was of course Paul Trouble Anderson. And he played Absolute, Introduced Me To Love as his last record. And I remember thinking, I wonder what this is. And I forgot to ask him. And on the following Friday, I went into my favourite record store, Catch A Groove on Dean Street. And I was in a bit of a rush. And I think they just gave me a bag of records and said, oh, this is the best releases from this week. And when I was tracking through the vinyl later, Put the needle on one of the records and it turned out to be Introduced Me To Love, the record that Paul Anderson finished his set with. So, what a lovely happy ending to that story. Check it out in the background. Sold Out from 1991. The song's called Shine On. And that's my remix. The first remix I did for a major label as it goes. And I remember going for a meeting in the offices of what was CBS, became Sony Records. And the guy played with the track and he said, do you want to remix it? And I said, yes, because I guess I was up for any remixes at that point. And he asked me for my fee and I just didn't know what to say. I didn't have a manager or anything like that. So uh, I just quoted in double what I got for my previous remix, which was for a tiny label. And he replied to me, bargain. So I realized I'd undersold myself, but still it all worked out okay in the end. You took a chance on
Friday's pay There just ain't no other way That Friday's pay You flying day So, Sonny Jenkins and the New York Pop Porry Strings, That Friday Pay. And that's produced by August Darnell, the guy who was behind Kid Creole and the Coconuts, Dr. Buzzard, Savannah Band. And his stuff often had that Cab Calloway, big band influence to it, and his own unique sound. One of the geniuses of disco music. And he's still going touring Kid Creole, Cota Monday, The Coconuts. So massive respect going out to him. This is Dave Lee, my third and final Glitterbox residency. Hope you're enjoying the music. Feel free to reach out to me on any of the online platforms, Instagram, Facebook. I'm just about on TikTok. This is one of the more underrated tracks on an absolutely amazing album by Rufus featuring Chaka Khan. There's so much stiff competition on this album. It's got Any Love, Do You Love What You Feel, Live In Me, which I played on the boat in Croatia. It's a great album produced by Quincy Jones. Some of the songs are written by Rod Temperton. It's a fantastic LP, a must have if you're a soul, funk, disco lover. This song, I'm Dancing For Your Love, doesn't actually feature Chaka Khan. The intro's actually been sampled a few times. Some of you might recognise that. But I still think it's an amazing song. And you can hear from the backing vocals, it's a Quincy Jones production. I've seen that guy that you're standing in. I know you think that he's fine. He gets you hot with his dancing gear. But you ain't had no
Burgess aficionado, I wonder if you know this one, Wrecker. The track's called Disco Sweet, a record which I was really surprised to find out even existed. I found out about it about 10 years ago. And I put it on my Discogs once list, and then one day I was just looking at my phone, not that I ever do that, and this email came in that a seller in Argentina had a copy for sale. I've never seen this record before. I clicked buy like as quickly as I could, and for once, I actually got it. This record came over from Argentina. I opened up the mail. I thought, wow, it wasn't a scam. It's not a bootleg. I've actually got the record. So I thought I'd share that with you. Wrecker, Disco Suite, Prism Records. As far as I know, it never came out. But I think it was pressed. A few copies kind of leaked from the warehouse and then it was withdrawn. If you're a Leroy Burgess fan, one for the wants list. Bye. 
So showing you can still be pretty funky at 133 BPM. That's Sister Power, Love Potion. That's produced by Paul Sabu. Maybe you can hear some similarities to Debbie Jacobs, Don't You Want My Love, because he was behind that as well. And I've edited that a little bit just to include that sort of second half section where all the synths come in. It's, it's a pretty funky record considering how fast it is. And sticking with the fast up-tempo disco, that's Tangerine doing our own thing. It's an underrated Canadian disco track. It's quite jazzy in its own way. You are locked in to the Glitterbox Radio Show.
So when I'm listening to the radio, which I do quite a lot, I prefer not to hear songs I'm really familiar with. Sometimes in a club, people want an anthem, and I get it. But on the radio, I like to hear something new or old stuff that maybe doesn't get played too often. And that's an Imagination song from their first LP, Heart and Soul. And that was their kind of high-energy track that was big in the gay discos at the time in the UK. It's still got that distinctive Jolly Harris Jolly production, but at a speedier tempo than was usual for them. You are listening to the Glitter Box Radio Show. Italy in 1982, that's Coxo, step by step. The chorus is quite poppy, but musically it's still quite sophisticated, so that's always been a favourite of mine. So I couldn't think of any better way to finish my residency than with some Donna Summer. Now the thing is with Donna Summer, she recorded some amazing songs, and some of the biggest hits, those iconic records like MacArthur Park, Bad Girls and especially I Feel Love have kind of eclipsed the rest of her catalogue so you don't hear some of the other songs which were still big hits when they came out as much as those absolutely gone clear classics so this is I Love You which was a top 10 pop hit in the UK I haven't heard it for ages so I thought it'd be a nice way to finish my Glitterbox residency I hope you've enjoyed listening to the tracks I've selected it's been a pleasure and hopefully see you again at some point in the future if not on the radio at a gig or online and cheers to Glitterbox for having me on Melvo and Cameron who put together the show and of course to my fellow residents Louis Vega Kitty Smile Jada G over and out <laughs>